to the fourth art video hop. Let's take an unfinished project from earlier this year that I sort of a little bit disappointed with. Let's turn it into some abandoned art, into some positivity. <laughs> We're going to make hearts and bookmarks. Young Freddy is there, you just can't see him because of the machine. <laughs> More of him later. Do you remember me making this jacket? It was a, it's an old fleece and I'm literally stitching on, quilting on fabric. It's, it's, it's wonderful. I did enjoy doing it and also, it was such good experience on threading the bobbin. And, but I'll tell you, I'm going to start cutting it. Um, because I will tell you, as we go along, my couple of problems with it, and it's been in the cupboard, so I've changed my mind. I'm cutting out a heart here. So let me just cut that out. A wonky heart. If you, you can draw around something if you want to. So it's already got the quilted fabric on and backing of the fleece. So let's take another piece of the fleece because there's plenty of that too. I will explain. It's when you're a beginner sewer, it's like it's like a learning curve, isn't it? So I'm quite happy to learn. And I think this will become a nice positive project. Nice positive project to end 2022 on and begin a new year. <laughs> oh, so I've got some of this fleece to make it padded. So let's just cut round there. There we are. Now, if you can remember back as well, I'm looking back on thinking about past projects. In February, I did the abandoned hearts of love in a tree, in a tree stump. And if you remember, I put this notice in as well, where it says, take a heart, or take a heart and add a heart. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be going back to the same tree today and I brought some things from it and washed those, some knitted bunting that my friend Leslie had made. And next I have some lovely happy mail from Journey here. I'm sure Journey won't mind if I use the one, some of the wonderful fabric pieces that she gave me, that she sent all the way from the States. I think that's a lovely thing to do with the happy mail because it, it's makes this like a community project with fabric from all the way across the pond. <laughs> ah. So I'm going to put that gorgeous fabric like this on there and I'm going to cut this out, the heart. Wonderful. There. And then I'm going to sew these on the machine. 
You can hand stitch if you haven't got a machine. And quite often when I'm making the hearts of love, I do. I'm saving every scrap journey because I can make some little fabric clusters later as well. That's lovely. So I need to get some ribbon. I think that's up there. Freddie is snoring away after a lovely walk. Excuse my back. <laughs> yeah. So this is lovely. This is like got little birds on. Isn't that gorgeous? So let's snip that there. It feels really nicely padded actually. really nice actually that we can just be together today you might be crafting or you might be just relaxing or recovering I've just pinned that so that's all ready to sew I'm going to use my lovely vintage machine here and do some sewing or sew round here. I'm also going to cut out a bookmark because in one of my other, I'm looking back at past videos I've done for the Met for Mary's Hops. And I, if you remember, I went to did the little library. So the little free libraries that are in the park. I visited there with you a few times actually. So I'm going to make bookmarks to read in now. So we're going to go off to the park to, on our walk tomorrow and abandon this art. show you little Freddy. Where is he? There he is. He's curled up. <laughs> He's curled up fast asleep. <laughs> around around the heart it's a lovely relaxing sounding sewing machine isn't it and there's no rush let's take it down a gear as well shall we just just to take some deep breaths <laughs> and just enjoy this time together. <laughs> if you can hear me. Two reasons. One reason that 
I'm learning as I go along. I better stop it actually, just in case you can't hear me. One thing I'm learning as I go along, when you're making something, if you're quilting on it, slow stitching or putting lots of stitches from the sewing machine, the garment actually, or the little piece of slow stitching, it shrinks. So I'd taken the fleecy jacket apart and it, it fitted me. But of course, as I've, as I've sewn, the jacket has become smaller and smaller. Now you could say I could give it to somebody that is smaller and definitely I could do that. But the other thing is, I realised I'm making it out of scraps, but they, I started off, they're, they're all, they're all the same scraps. So it's a pile of scraps, but they're all the same. So it, I would have one sleeve with all the variety on, but if, and I ran out of that fabric, I didn't, I didn't sort out my scraps enough to know yet. So I would, it, it, half the jacket, it was all in the same scraps, but this, but I, if I did it again, it cut out more scraps, scraps, it would look so totally different. I don't know whether I'm explaining myself properly there. So suffice to say, the project was in the drawer and I, I, didn't, I, I wanted to use it, I wanted to finish it, but I was pondering and thinking the scraps get, threads get caught up. I was thinking, what can I do? And lovely Beth messaged me and said, or in the comments said, oh, whatever happened to that jacket you were making? And I thought, oh, so that put it in the forefront of my mind. And then all of, it's like you mull things over and then I love that, that. And all of a sudden I thought, I'm just going to make some quilted hearts and some bookmarks and finish the year off in a positive way and abandon some art for our local community. Also, these hearts will go off in Happy Mouse so they can go all around the world. So, from a project that I was slightly disheartened about, nothing major, um, but it was wasted in the cupboard over there underneath one underneath the jam and I thought no I'm going to let's, let's have a lovely positive time together <laughs> so already you can see that that's beautiful love it <laughs> it's going to go to a local family, someone will pick that up hopefully and let's let's cut out and the, I, I will say that the fabric that I'm using on the jacket it's it it, it was all fabric from yeah because I still had quite a lot to do on the jacket I, I had such fun doing it. it and the fabric is from all over the world and I'm not going to waste a scrap of it it will be made into so many different things so I'm going to cut across there and let's make a quilted bookmark that will be lovely do I need to get a straight edge on this? Probably. It 
makes it quite padded. But oh, this is just such a such a happy little machine and cooperative little machine. It's over 70 years old and still going strong. Just a few little minor things like you can't alter the size of the stitch or anything like that but it's fine. Mm -hmm. Some of the ribbon, like a little tail. There we are. And I'll just sew round. <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely just needs a little trim wonderful <laughs> hmm. oh Flo I love that scene from Chris. That's wonderful. Hmm, beautiful colouring, Flo. Let's sit together and have a nice cup of tea. pie as well so a mince pie is just it we have this here in Britain we have this maybe instead of a Christmas cookie we do have Christmas cookies now as well but this is our tradition it's sweet pastry and sweet currants raisins and apple and spices and sugar and it's absolutely delicious we love our mince pies. <laughs> Come on in and have a seat and we'll just have a nice hot beverage together or a cool beverage, depending on whereabouts you are in the world. <laughs> I know it's, it's summer, summer holidays for our Australian friends. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's just spend a bit of time together. I'm just sewing on the buttons. Oh, look at that one. That's gorgeous. <laughs> mm. Oh, I love that one. I love the blue one. <laughs> as a button. Yes, we'll sew these on and we'll take these out tomorrow morning on our walk. <laughs> hmm. It's nice just to slow down. Some people have been it's a busy time of year. It's a different time of year for different people. Some, for some people, it's a really busy.
busy and hectic and stressful time and for other people it's a time of great sadness and just everything just gets a bit much let's light a candle shall we that'll be nice we can still do that even though we're sitting here relaxed <laughs> i've got my feet up on the settee oh that's lovely actually that's really nice i love that let me go and get the candle hold on So many expectations about this time of year, aren't there? I'm lighting this candle for those that are just not feeling very well. We really are quite, quite ill at this time. I'm also lighting it for people that are feeling sad and just overwhelmed. blown it out but that doesn't mean to say that we're stopping thinking about you or you're thinking about the people that are on your heart at the moment mm. very nice <laughs> nice cup of tea together <laughs> oh well then Freddie do you think we should say goodbye <laughs> I think we should. Mm. And I'll just show you us putting up these hearts in the park. <laughs> Here we are. Abandon these. Oh. Do you want to put no, them the no. other way up? I've just... Oh, it's fine. It's, it's um, yeah, oh, super. Thank you. Okay, John. Well yeah, super. Yeah. Somebody will like him, I feel sure. Oh, thank you. Right, come on then, little friend. Let's go for a snowy walk, shall we? Let's go and abandon some hearts, shall we, Leslie? Yeah. Oh, look! Isn't that... Oh, Leslie! Do you know something? Yeah. It's really lucky that I put... waiting so patiently. Thank you, darling. He's such a good boy. He is a good boy. So is this okay here? That is perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank you for doing this. I love it. I'm so pleased you're glad. I thought, yeah. I, I thought it was ages ago. Do you remember I I'm showed so you that, that pink foam material? Yeah. It's easy to have use for it. I took it home and I said, oh. see, I'm going to try and use this and make some decorations for the tree. <laughs> the tree is, I said, don't tell her we're going to. Oh, it's lovely. It looks great. Yeah. It's a community tree. It is. I love it. Right yeah. then, Freddie. Okay, Freddie. You're taking a picture. Yeah. <laughs> I love oh. it. Yeah, when I get <sighs> home, I'll forward them to Steve because he'll be. He was really anxious to know. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Think... Oh, before I go, Devon, Devon Rex for art. She mentioned there actually is something online, and it's called. I'll leave a link below. I've got it written down, but it's at my desk. I found a heart, I think it is. 
I found a quilted heart and there's a Facebook group. I'll leave a link below for that. And it's actually a thing. Now, I was making the hearts of love and Becky said, wouldn't it be a great idea to send them off into our community when people need them? That was, was that this year, Becky? Or was that the year? I think that was the year before. And, and then Devon, when she was on holiday, I'll leave a link for her below. She messaged me and said she'd found a quilted heart and it had a little message in. And they have a website and you, when you find one, you put it in. So that's, that, that's interesting. <laughs> There's no new idea, is there? <laughs> So, yes, <laughs> I'll say goodbye and thank you very much to Mary for a whole year of inspiration from everybody, from the hashtag, I'm trying to think what it is now, hashtag, see I've relaxed down with this cup of tea now, hashtag for art saturday video hop now there'll be links below to mary's channel she has a playlist and you'll be able to follow the links down below to find out how the other people have interpreted this brief this month of saying goodbye to 2022 and they're looking looking out to 2023 <laughs> Take good care, everybody. And you can do your one. Like that's Freddy. Yeah, that's Freddy. Fred! Freddy! Fred, say hello! Oh, he's tired. Freddy? Uh, yeah. Freddy! Time. He's just tired. <laughs> It's growing, isn't it? It's lovely and cozy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. This is our Friday uh, evening. That's <laughs> pretty. <laughs> no. No. He's very tired. He's, tired. He's had very two walks. He's had two walks. He's very had the tired. walk with um, Honey this morning and Molly this afternoon. So he's exhausted, I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh. Oh.